This is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced. And her partner, from the United States of America, Cruz Ramirez. Ladies and gentlemen, we have tag team action coming up. And given the state of the tag team division right now and how incredibly competitive it is, this match might just make or break one of these teams. And we're now underway with this huge tag team match. Down with a face buster. And here's the lockup. Look at these two jockeying for position. Ooh. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Watch out! Running Bulldog! Corey, you touched on this before, part of it tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss, maybe even more. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. There may be no preventing the tag. There it is. She's made the tag. And her partner is on absolute fire right now. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee 
could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. Looking for the win. This might be it. Oh, my. This is all but over. She goes for the cover. And the shoulder's up in time. She's still in this one. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. Um, we've seen this before. <sighs> she is just so dominant. She goes for the cover. Max Handel finds the mark. Corey, a few moments ago, you took us through what it takes for a tag team to be successful. The continuity between tag team partners is crucial. When a team is able to keep one opponent in the ring for an extended period of time without making a tag, they're able to focus their attack on one individual and one body part. And that's when things really start to take shape if you're on the tag team that's in control of the match. When you look at the tag teams who have dominated this business, all of them worked well together as a unit and were able to keep an opponent in the ring long enough to make that... She... Oh! 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 What a clothesline! Ouch! Nice. Oh! Kick to the face. Victory is on the horizon. Uh-oh. Here we go. Here we go. Side slam. That's called making a statement, Cole. There may be no coming back from that slam, Cole. No, there's the reversal. That'll realign your vertebrae. She goes for the cover. She's still in it. Too soon. <laughs> Net breaker. That could be it. I think she's trying to prove a point here. This capacity crowd starting to sense the end is near, and she will not be denied. Oh, what an uppercut. Incredible. This could be all she wrote. Harsh impact. This one's over, guys. When you talk about great tag teams, we can go all the way back to teams like the Tolos brothers, Stevens and Patterson, Stevens and Bockwinkle, the Texas Outlaws, the Briscoes, the Blackjacks, the Andersons, and the list goes on and on. When you're part of a tag team, the two partners have to travel together, train together, eat together, and be completely in sync with one another. So you've got to believe this one's over. This one is... Here's the cover. Tag team competition dates back all the way to the early 1900s. Corey, you mentioned some of the classic duos from sports entertainment's incredible history. In today's WWE, the tag team scene has never been more competitive. I don't know who has the edge when it comes to talent, if it's Raw or SmackDown Live. And look out. There's the tag. And that changes the entire outlook for these women, Michael. We're looking at complete domination here. And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. Takes her down. Wow, nice move right there. She goes for the quick pin. And an early kick out in this unusual matchup. And the match continues. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. She's looking at it. What an aggressive side slam. She can end it here. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. This one's getting ugly. You might want to turn away if you have a weak heart.
All the way up and around the world. Crucifix head scissor. Leg drop. Going clothesline. I think. Oh, what a clothesline. Forcefully delivered. Got every ounce of that one. This could be over. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. It. Can she end it here? And we have our winners. How about another look at some of the highlights? She's taking care of business. Check this out. That's a woman on a mission. And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Here are your winners, Nelson and Cruz Ramirez. Nice teamwork by these two here tonight. They make it look so effortless in there. What an amazing duo. And I'll tell you,